In the beginning there was a dot. Then time passed. The dots evolve into an artwork of high sensibility, a piece of fine handiwork harmonizing patience with art. Batik comes from the word ambatik, which can mean a cloth with dots or spots. The making of such exotic spots is not as easy as waving a hand. The driving force is the patterns themselves. It is not just a matter of drawing lines, it is the breathing of life into patterns full of dynamism. Some of these patterns are H.O others emerging of ancestral designs with new concepts growing out of more recent contemplation. Batik begins with a piece of cotton cloth. Onto this cloth are transferred exotic forms, detail by detail, curve by curve, with the greatest possible perfection. Then with exceptional care, the motifs are copied in liquid wax using a pen-like instrument called chanting covering the cloth from one end to the other. This chanting has a little basin made of copper with a little spout. Because of the smallness, close precision is needed in the waxing process. which is carried out with care and a sharp eye to ensure that the wax will flow easily onto the cloth. The wax which is called malam comes in various forms depending on the stage of batiking under work. Among them are pine resin wax and beeswax. Amid the pungent odor and hot thick smoke of the wax, women transform the plain white cloth into a beautifully decorated textile. Dyeing means the coloring of those parts of the cloth that are not covered in wax. For this, the wax cloth is immersed into a cold dye bath. The most frequently used colors are blue, red, brown and yellow. So that the colored cloth will glow to perfection, it is put out in the sun to dry. This process of dyeing and drying is duplicated as many times as is needed to get the desired depth and shades of color. When the color is right, the cloth can be clean of its wax covering. This is done by immersing it in boiling water. The dyeing process is replicated over and over again to get the desired number of colors. The more color variation, the more times the waxing and dyeing are repeated. The batik emerges from the very long and demanding process, beautifully colored and wonderfully decorated. There is hand wax batik and there is stem wax batik. In stem wax batik, the graceful function of the batik pen or chanting is taken over by a printing stamp for a repetitive pattern. This naturally shortens the time it takes to make a batik cloth, but it also sacrifices the power in the hand-drawn wax lines. Life carries on. Day turns into night and night into day. Likewise, the amazing art of batik 
is being preserved through tradition. A museum has even been established to record the journey of this artistic skill. Opened by the president on July the 12, 2006, the museum houses diverse types of batik from throughout the country, each with its matchless uniqueness. In the museum, visitors can see for themselves the batik process in the hands of a group of young Indonesians. In the beginning, there was a dot. Then time passed. The dots evolved into an artwork in the form of a decorated textile. Only those who possess great diligence and extreme patience will come to peace with time, creating a work of high artistic sensibility.